Scientist and welcome back to my channel Scientist. In today's video, I'll try to compare the display comparison between the OnePlus Nord versus the IQ7 device. As you can see, friends, right now I do have the IQ7, I do have the OnePlus Nord. So OnePlus Nord is uh, just day one of using this device, friends. I did uh, experience a lot of things with this phone, so make sure to stay tuned for more complete update about this device, friends. So first, let's see which display is kind of best and. Uh, which has got pretty good uh, saturation levels and the contrast level that is what i'm going to concentrate so one quick note uh, both phones they do have the same kind of amoled panel so iq7 has got the amoled panel and whereas the oneplus nord c as uh, c has got the fluid amoled type of panel so both are kind of amoled panels but slightly different but let me try to quickly show you the exact uh, specifications versus both phones so first thing in, in terms of the screen size you can actually see the 6.43 inches versus 6.62 inches screen size you can clearly see the difference how much it is as you can see and one uh, 90 hertz uh, refresh rate on this phone and 120 hertz refresh rate and uh, the oneplus nord ce has got 1000 nits of brightness and the iq7 has got the 1300 nits of peak brightness as you can clearly see the difference and pixel density is 410 and pixel density is 398 so slightly less so overall in terms of the display quality so slightly higher points for the iq device because of having the slightly better brightness slightly because of having higher uh, refresh rate and higher touch sampling rate as well i'll try to do the another video on the touch sampling rate so stay tuned for that video in case if you are interested to know more details i can do that for you all so these are the basic hardware specifications which we got to know uh, between both phones so let's explore what are the settings option we got our uh, basic options so what are the options you can actually change in the settings that is what i'm going to show you right now so we need to go to the display option here as you can see in the display option you need to go to the advanced in the advanced screen calibration so in terms of the iq7 device right now you do have the one option which is a standard and professional or bright that's it so these are the three options you are having right now so right now in this kind of uh, demonstration purpose i'll be selecting the bright option so which will be look really good and even in this uh, oneplus nord device i'll try to select the vivid option because the vivid gives you really good high uh, colors or maybe you can even use the amoled white gamut as well i wanted to see so you can try to use the Am amoled uh, white gamut to get different kind of colors as well as you can see even slightly change in terms of the colors little bit but not much as you can see so now let me try to use the vivid and the bright in both phones and let me try to compare the same video playing in both phones so i know you won't be able to feel much difference because both are kind of amoled so let's see which phone looks kind of better so right now i'm trying to play the same video in both phones at the same time as you can clearly let me just slightly increase the brightness so both phones are completely with the high brightness levels right now as you can clearly see friends so both phones are filled full brightness mode and I did enable with the full brightness mode and let me try to slightly show you the different different angle as well so which phone looks what kind of side angle as you can see clearly so both are kind of really close to each other in terms of the display not much uh, difference you can expect in terms of the display quality apart from the small display size so that is what you can actually uh, clearly see the difference but apart from that I, I don't think you'll be able to see much difference as you can see friends in terms of the display quality and you can see the mountain slightly as you can see slightly more saturated kind of thing i am seeing in the iq7 device but not much so make sure to comment below friends which display you felt the best as well that is what i was looking after so even you can observe in the in terms of the lights which is present here slightly more saturated than this uh, oneplus nord device so these are small small things but not huge difference you can definitely not uh, not uh, recognize in this kind of video not huge difference friends just a small small very tiny difference but overall it feels slightly uh, better saturated in the iq7 device little bit overall in terms of the display but i need to check the screen flickering issue and green tint issue in this oneplus nord device so stay tuned uh, for those videos oneplus nord ce sorry so stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested to get no, no more details about these phones i have to uh, slightly decrease the brightness to zero percentage let's see which phone will be having the really low brightness levels i think both phones are very low brightness you cannot even see the image these are the viewing angles this is how it looks between both phones so make sure to comment below friends which display you felt the best and why as well that will be really interesting thing to see and thank you for watching this video friends and see in the next video in, in the next video i'll try to compare with the plenty of other phones like realme exxon max oneplus 9 or M mi 11x device in one single video that will give you the clear idea what is happening with the oneplus 9 oneplus nord ce and thank you for watching this video and the overall the final winner is a iq7 device in terms of slightly more saturated colors slightly but not much and thank you for watching and see in the next video friends until then stay tuned Bye.